Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today we're going to finish your two finger finger knitting so you can cut the end of the yarn and not have it unravel on you. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We're continuing with finger knitting this week and that means that you're using a ball of yarn and you don't need any needles. And what I love about finger knitting is that you can use any yarn really. When you're a beginner knitter I would say don't usually start with anything like boucle yarn or tweed yarn because the needle can get caught in the lumps and the bumps that you find along the fibres. So finger knitting you don't really have that problem because your fingers are big enough they're not going to get caught so yeah pick up any kind of yarn you like tweedy yarn boucle yarn things uh, yarn with more bumps on it then you're going to have great fun and get some really nice textures like this tweed yarn necklace necklace let's get to it let's end the finger knitting so it doesn't unravel when you want to finish this is a very simple method and you can use this for two finger and for four finger knitting i'm going to cut the end that goes to the ball and then I'm going to take the short end and move it into these stitches quite simple really so that end goes from I'm going to do this from underneath so I'm going to move this yarn underneath and go through the top of this stitch and I can let that one off of the needle and then I'm going to go through the top of this stitch and there you go they are secure now nothing's going to happen to those stitches they're just caught in that final piece of thread and there you go you have a piece of knitting and you can tie this together if you like and maybe wear that as a necklace great you've finished your finger knitting i hope that was helpful you've now can let it go without it unraveling and make something like this. Here's the necklace that I was wearing last week and of course you can make a skipping rope as well. Do let me know in the comments what you've decided to make with your two finger finger knitting. Yeah, I would love to know. I will be back next week with four finger finger knitting. It's just a bit of an extension of what we do with two finger finger knitting but I'll give you all of the details next week. So give me a thumbs up if you like this one and do subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when that video appears. I will see you then. Bye for now. Happy knitting. And happy finger knitting. Bye for now. Happy knitting. And happy French knitting. French knitting. French knitting. French knitting. And happy finger knitting.